Hey guys, my name is Aubrey and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how I went from earning $0 per month in 2019 to earning over $10,000 per month in early 2020. I'm gonna talk about the steps that I took and what I did to get to this point, and more importantly, how you can do this in your own life and how you can increase your income regardless of your age level, your skill level, and what degree you have. So let's get started. So first, I wanna give you guys a little bit of backstory because whenever I say that I was earning $0 per month, I very literally mean $0 per month. You see, whenever I started my career, I was a franchisee and I owned a sandwich shop and my goal for myself and the goal for my career was to become a multi-unit franchisee, owning brands like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Subway, Little Caesars, all of those major brands that you know and you love, my goal was to own those and own hundreds of units of those to become extremely successful in the franchise world. And that was my kind of 5, 10, 15, 20 year plan. And literally overnight, I lost my source of income, I lost my plan, I lost the goals that I had set for myself. It was like everything I had envisioned for myself just completely disappeared like that. And I really had to get back to the drawing board and figure out what the hell I was going to do with my life and how the hell I was going to pay for my bills, my pets, my food, my mortgage, and everything like that. So I was faced with an incredibly tough decision that I really had to navigate from ground zero. So that is what I mean whenever I say that I was starting from $0 per month, I really was at the ground level and I had to figure out what I was going to do from that point forward. So one of the first things that I did was I signed up for the service called Upwork. For those of you who don't know, Upwork is a website that connects companies who need freelancers with freelancers that provide a certain skill or certain service. I absolutely love Upwork. And the reason why is because it is a great way for you to make extra income from home, regardless of your age or whether or not you have a college degree. Upwork offers a wide range of jobs, from entry-level jobs that pay $8 to $12 an hour to intermediate jobs that pay like $15 to $20 an hour, all the way to expert jobs that charge $40 plus an hour. It is a great way for people with a wide range of skill sets to go and make extra income, especially if you have extra time. So in January of 2020, that is one of the first things that I did was I signed up for Upwork and I started applying to every job I could possibly apply to. It didn't matter what the job was, it didn't matter what it paid, my goal was to get jobs onto my profile, get reviews onto my profile, that way I could build the validity behind my profile and start getting more and more expensive and higher end jobs on the platform. I did everything that you could possibly think of from data entry to like posting for people on Instagram to doing like Facebook audits and looking at people's Facebook accounts and providing insight. It didn't really matter what I did, but the point was, was that I was one, making money, I was two, gaining experience on the platform, and I was three, gaining reviews on the platform. And those three things were incredibly important in order for one, for me to survive, but two, for me to grow on the Upwork platform itself. Whenever I got my start on Upwork, I was making a couple hundred dollars a month, but then over time, I was able to build my resume, I was able to charge more per hour, and by the end of 2019, I was charging charging roughly between $20 and $30 per hour, sometimes more, and I was making over $2,000 per month through my Upwork jobs. The best part was, was that it was all from home and it was all on my own schedule, which means that it didn't have to impede on the other projects and the other things that I was pursuing at the time. So if you are somebody who wants to check out Upwork but you don't really know where to start, I highly recommend that you sign up for the platform and you just start applying to any job that you can, even if it's low paying, even if it's very entry level. The more jobs you get, the more reviews you get, the more exclusive jobs you can get in the future. So the goal is at the beginning to get any job you can, and then once you build up your resume, you can start being more picky about what jobs you accept and at what price point you accept them at. So the second thing that I did was I started working with a franchise consulting firm and they paid me a monthly fee to do some work for them and to help them sell licenses for franchises. I understand that franchise consulting is something that not everybody can do because not everybody has a background in franchising and I understand that. But the fact of the matter is that everybody has their own skill set. 
So my recommendation to you would be to take your own skill set and to really try to monetize that as much as possible. If you're somebody who's really good at working with cars, then start fixing some cars in your spare time or start diagnosing car issues in your spare time. If you're somebody who's really good with photography, then go try to take some photos for people for money or do a videography deal. If you're somebody who is great with animals and maybe start a dog walking business or a pet sitting business, the point is, is that whether it's franchise consulting or whether it is dog walking, everybody has a skill and everybody has a way to make an extra thousand dollars a month. And at the end of the day, that's how much I made for most of 2019 through consulting was about a thousand dollars a month, which isn't deal breaker money. I mean, it's not like I can go buy a Lamborghini with a thousand dollars a month, but the fact is, is that $1,000 a month makes a difference and you would be surprised at how quickly and how easily you can make $1,000. So whether that be through dog walking, through being like a mobile mechanic, through photography, through videography, or anything else that you can possibly think of, making an extra $1,000 based on your specific skill set is something that is incredibly possible and actually not that difficult. So I challenge you to figure out what you are good at where you can provide value, and then try to monetize that. Similarly to how I've been able to make an extra $1,000 a month through franchise consulting. And the third thing that I did was Turo. Now, if you have checked out any of my past videos, then you know that I am a big proponent of Turo. I love the platform. The platform has been extremely life-changing for me, and I recommend it to almost anybody I talk to. For me, I started with Turo in 2017, which is one car on the platform. And over the course of the next couple of years, I grew to having a couple of cars on the platform. But by the time November of 2018 came rolling around, I had only had a couple of cars on the platform and all of them were financed, which meant that I wasn't making a whole lot of money from those cars. So what I did in 2019 was the goal was to eventually grow to 10 cars on the platform. And that is exactly what I did. So what I did was I took all the money I made through the cars that I was already renting out on Turo. I took all the money I made through Upwork, all the money I had made through consulting and any of the money that I made through selling items on Facebook or selling items on Craigslist or doing odd jobs wherever I could. I took all that money and I invested it back into the Turo business. And it's just like every dollar I made would be thrown into getting another car. And by about September of 2019, I had reached that 10 car threshold and I had reached my goal. And with 10 cars, I make roughly between seven and $9,000 depending on the month. So guys, that is how I went from earning $0 per month to earning over $10,000 per month in just about a year's time. I understand that some of these steps will be different for different people. The fact of the matter is not everybody can go work for a consulting firm and I understand that. But the fact is, is that everybody can monetize their skill sets because we all have something that we're good at. So my recommendation to you is to find what you're good at and monetize the crap out of it. If you can do that, you will be able to make money and you will make it faster and easier than you've ever made it before. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps YouTube algorithm and it helps my channel grow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you